Welcome back to Hawaii's only TV show about animals, the Pet Hui. Our next breed is known for being outgoing, bold, protective, playful, tenacious, and friendly. Think you know what it is? Let's learn all about this adorable puppy in It's All About the Breed with Malin Moore. There are more than 500 dog breeds ranging from the world's smallest the Chihuahua to the mighty Great Dane. Our goal is to pick one and learn all about it in It's All About the Breed. Today, it's all about the Welsh Corgi. Originally from Wales, there are actually two dogs that go by the name Corgi, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Corgi. Both are separate and distinct breeds. Of the two, the most popular is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Considered the 11th most intelligent dog, the Welsh Corgi is an ancient breed, dating back as far as the 10th century when records indicate that they were used to herd sheep, geese, ducks, horses, and cattle. So obviously they're one of the oldest of the herding breeds. There's also a popular folk legend that says corgis were a gift from woodland fairies and that the markings on their back were the result of the tiny saddles used by the fairies to ride them. As old as the breed is, their ability as herders has carried through the years, and even today they are considered one of the best herders. They excel as healers, which means that they nip at the heels of cattle to keep them moving. They're very agile dogs. You can see that when they're herding, but that trait also makes them excel in competition, in obedience, showmanship, fly ball, tracking, and herding events. Corgis were even used at one time to guard children but it isn't clear if they actually herded them. As for popularity, corgis are well known to hobnob with royalty. Queen Elizabeth has owned more than 30, either Pembroke Welsh corgis or a corgi dachshund mix. She was given her first corgi by her father when she was seven. Its name was Dookie. Young Elizabeth chose Dookie out of the litter because he had a longer tail. She said that having a long tail would make it easier for her to know if he was pleased or not. Welsh Corgis were first brought to the U.S. in 1933 by a breeder in Massachusetts. They were recognized by the AKC the following year. As for size, male Corgis weigh an average of 30 pounds, females about 25. They come in red, sable, tan, fawn, and black, and may or may not have the white markings. As for health issues, they are generally a healthy breed and have an average lifespan of just over 12 years. They are prone to some cancer and kidney problems, as well as some types of eye conditions, including progressive retinal atrophy. Hip dysplasia among corgis is rare. Corgis love physical activity and need regular exercise. They're strong and athletic and are happiest when they've got a job to do. Some corgis are barkers. They're best suited to temperate climates if they're going to be outdoors, but they make great indoor pets. They need brushing only once a week or so. They make great companions. Just ask the queen. And now you know all about the corgi.